Headwinds to investing in 2022. Higher taxes. As part of the Build Back Better bill, the government was going to raise taxes to the highest ever. And this is not likely to pass because when a bill gets prolonged several months, more people read it and more people dislike things, and it's likely to get rewritten as a smaller bill. And anyway, when if it does pass and we get higher taxes, it's likely to be in 2023 and it won't affect 2022 that much. And when people do their taxes in April 2024, it would, it would affect them then the most. Higher inflation. Now, higher inflation is great for real estate, gold, silver, commodities, um, propping up oil prices, okay? But it's very bad for people that are retired and on fixed income. And, and so we do have renewed inflation, and that is a problem. We have higher rates. The government's talking about raising rates. Now, this would be fantastic for banks because they make they would get higher in investment money off of off of charging higher rates, and this some people would refinance, saying, "Oh, I better refinance now before rates go up more," and so it would, it would people would refinance, and that would be more money for investing that could help investing. Also, some people will buy real estate. They'll say, "Boy, I better buy real estate before rates go up, and then I won't be able to qualify." So, higher rates in the short term and long term will help banks and in the short term will help refinances and also real estate. So these headwinds for 2022 are are not likely to have that big of an impact in 2022, but they will have a bigger impact later on. Higher taxes, um, which could be very bad. Um, higher inflation, which could be bad for some. And higher rates, which could also be have a very um, dampening effect on real estate and on, um, and on businesses. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.